Daniel Medvedev versus Holger Rune is the final of the Rome Open for 2023. Both players have been very impressive to get to the final. Rune started the tournament off as the number seven seed, and we're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on the qualifier Feast. This is no problem for Rune, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3. In the third round, he take on the wildcard Fanini, who had taken out Murray and Kecmanovic along the way. But even with the crowd against him, Rune would get through in straights, 6-4, 6-2. In the fourth round, he take on another qualifier Poprin, who had taken out Felix Ogelia Seam along the way. And after dropping the second set, he would fight back to win 6-4-5-7-6-4 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Runa would take on the number one Djokovic, who was also the defending champion and had won this tournament multiple times before. After dropping the second set though, but Runa was very impressive. Despite dropping the second set, still able to beat Djokovic in three, 6-2-4-6-6-2 to advance to the semi-final. In the semi-final, Runa would take on the number four seed, Rude, who he'd never beaten in previous meetings. And after dropping the first set, he'd have to fight back to win 6-7, 6-4, 6-2 to advance to the final. Medvedev started the tournament off as the number three seed. We'd get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Rusevori. There's no problem for Medi, getting through in straight, 6-4, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on the 31 seed, Morales, who'd actually been pretty good on the clay this season. To drop in the first set, Medvedev would fight back to win 3-6, 6-1, 6-3. In the fourth round, he'd take on 19th seed Alexander Zverev, who he'd had some very big battles with this year. This was very impressive for Medvedev, getting through in straight sets, 6-2, 7-6, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Medvedev would take on the qualifier Hanfman, who had taken out Rublev and Fritz along the way. But this was so far Medi's most impressive performance, getting through in straight, 6-2, 6-2, to advance to a semifinal in Rome. In the semifinals, Medvedev would take on the number five, City Pass, who he'd lost his last two meetings to. But after a rain-delayed first set, Medvedev would fight through in straights, 7-5-7-5 to advance to the final. These two have only played the one time before and it was actually a couple of weeks ago in Monte Carlo with Runa getting the straight sets win. So it's a very early rivalry, but based on that clay court win, Runa will have the confidence going into this match. Having good shot quality for both these guys over the last 52 weeks, on the serve, Medvedev leads with an 8.0 compared to a 7.7 .7 for Runa. He also leads in the return with a 7.7 .7 compared to Runa's 6.4. On the forehand side, Medvedev again leading with an 8.1 compared to Runa's 7.7. .7. And again on the backhand, Medvedev with a 7.7 .7 compared to Runa's 7.3. And the shot quality is calculated in real time by analyzing each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches. Brought to you by Tennis Insights. If you want to check out more, you can go check them out on Twitter. Link down in the description. This is such a random final with Medvedev being in a final of a clay event it's always going to be random and Runa making a second Masters 1000 clay court event final this year I've got to go with Runa to win this one in three sets I think Medvedev's been great this week and I think he's really proved to everybody that he can play on clay and he's actually starting to enjoy playing on clay I reckon as well let me know down in the comments below who's winning Rome this year